Hey guys, this is Anton. I cannot believe it, but it's finally here. This is kind of a special episode for today. The Majesty of the Wolf, which was announced way back in 2017, was one of those dramas that had been stuck in limbo for so very long. Just premiered today. I was pretty shocked to see that there have not been any signs on an official English subtitle for this drama yet, because I'm actually really enjoying the Wolf so far. I know that some of you guys have had to watch it raw, so I will try to explain what happens in its first episode in this video. Obviously, there will be spoilers in this video, so if you don't want to know, please turn it off right now. And also, if you find a place where the series is posted with English subtitles, make sure to share with everyone down in the comments below. Remember to like this video if you like content like this, and if you're a new viewer, please subscribe to the channel to see more videos like it in the future. Okay, let's get right to it. Episode one begins with two kingdoms fighting with each other. The Liang Kingdom is taking over the Tang and getting rid of everyone. The Tang King had to retreat to the north to regroup and regather. The Liang King vows to annihilate them and unify the country. From then on, the world was split into two forces. In the next scene, a hunter and his son are seen walking through the woods. They are looking to hunt for wolf meat to get rich. The son tells his dad not to be afraid of demons up on these mountains, but the dad hangs up charms just in case. They catch a big wolf in one of their traps, but as the son comes to retrieve it, they get attacked. In the next scene, the son is begging a local official to come get rid of the wolf demon that they saw. He said that he saw a half man, half wolf creature, but the local magistrate doesn't believe him and has him hauled away. Before he does, Li Chen's character comes in and berates her brother for not at least looking into the case. Wow, she looks so different and much younger here than in the recent Song of Glory. Anyways, she says their father is gone now, but will be returning and will be disappointed if the people aren't being looked after. She convinces him to send an army up to the mountains to investigate. When the army is up in the mountains, they are surrounded by demon miasma, and the wolves appear. The brother accidentally steps in a trap and hurts himself, and orders the mountain to be sealed off. We get to the next scene and are introduced to Darren Wong's character, who is wearing a wolf skin and lives among the wolves. Li Chen's character comes out, and it is revealed that the two have already known each other for more than a year. She calls him Little Wolf. He doesn't know how to speak, but can understand what she is saying. It was her plan to save the wolves from being hunted, so she was the one who released the smoke that made everyone hallucinate. In the next scene, she tells him all the great things about human food and asks him if he'd like to join her going to the village the next day. As they are walking, she accidentally triggers a trap and he saves her. He tells her that humans are bad. She replies that not all humans are bad, and he is human and not wolf, and he needs to be able to tell who is good or bad. She wants to prove to him that there are still good people in the world, and leaves. We come to the scene of the city, and her father is returning. He has a special guest with him, who is the king's sworn brother. He is here because he heard that wolf meat can cure all diseases. We skip to the pair as they are exploring the town. He lets some chickens out of their cage and goes to watch a play. She explains how they met through the play. After her mom died, she got lonely, so she went up to the mountain to look for her mom's favorite flower. She ran into him and discovered he was sick. She nursed him back to health, and because wolves always repay their debts, he led her to where the flower was. When they became good friends, she forgot about how lonely she was. She has a wolf's tooth necklace made and gives it to him as a lucky charm. At the end of the play, she asks him if he would like to become a human forever to be with her. But he gets distracted when he smells candy and leaves. He almost gets into an altercation when the candy seller asks him to pay, and he accidentally shoves him. Luckily, an elderly woman comes to save him and pays for the candy. He learns that there are good people in the town. She finds him and learns that he only ran off because he wanted to get her the candy. The chemistry is seriously on fire in this drama, you guys. We skip to a scene between her dad and the special guest, who claims that they are both right-hand men to the king. But the difference is, her dad is like a guard dog, but he is more like a wolf who helps the king conquer lands. Li Chen barges in and says wolves are strong because they know their place and have the intelligence to retreat when they need to, unlike foxes who have to rely on others to intimidate others weaker than them. Being called a fox is a pretty serious insult. The father scolds her for speaking out of place and grounds her for seven days. Later on, her dad comes in to get her and over dinner praises her for speaking his mind. He scolds her though for not behaving like a princess and staying out so late, 
but she says it was because she was showing an important friend around. She says he is loyal and kind, and her dad tells her he would like to meet her friend one day. On the next scene, the guest is still upset, but a servant brings in medicine soup to him as an apology. He asks about Wolf Mountain, where he wants to catch some wolves to make medicine. He threatens the servant to bring back some wolves for him, or else he will report Li Chin to the king. The next day, the servant goes up to the mountain and finds Darren's wolf pup wandering by the river, which he captures in a bag. We pan back to Li Chin in the market, watching as Darren give apples as a gift to the kind people who helped him before. As they are talking, he leans over and kisses her, and she asks him where he learns it from. She remembers that he saw a little kid kissing his mom to show love. Darren then tells her he likes her, and she tells him that only he is able to kiss her. He suddenly hears the baby wolf in the distance and runs back to the mountain, only to find out that his friend is missing. He returns back to the city furious and tracks down the puppy to her father's estate, where the poor dog is still whimpering inside its bag. And that's where the episode ends. You guys, I'm in love with this series. It's been a while since I've been super engaged in a drama like this. The chemistry between the two main leads is awesome, and I really like the way the storyline unfolds and characters get introduced. Sorry for this super abridged version, though. Hopefully, an official English subtitle version for this comes out soon because this series has definitely been a pleasure to watch so far. I still cannot believe subtitles are not out for this show. I might continue this explained series for episode two if subs continue to be slow because so far I actually really like the wolf. Let me and everyone else know if you're able to find any English subtitles anywhere and where to watch this great series. I really like both Lee Chen and Darren's acting here. I think they really nailed their roles. I can really feel the tension between their two characters. I cannot wait to see what happens next. What do you guys think of it so far? Let me know if you're enjoying the series too down in the comments below. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I love doing these explained videos, but hopefully English subtitles will come out real soon. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're a new viewer to this channel, remember to subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thanks for joining me today. Again, this is Anton. I will see you guys in the next video. Later.